Hi, I'm Brenda Walton. I simply love to garden. I love all different kinds of flowers and the peony is one of my favorite. And so I designed a peony die for Sizzix. And this is an example of a flower that was made using that die. And it has this wonderful fullness to it. And the die includes all of the petals, the stamen piece, and the leaves as well. So it's, it's really got all the pieces that you need to make a beautiful little composition, as well as a little tag that is part of the die. So let's get started assembling it. We're going to start with the center of the flower, which is like a little circular ball in the center, and it is glittered. And you can either use um, this process or you could use vintage stamens that you could find online. I've made my little ball out of a pom-pom from a little string of pom-poms that you can get from any fabric store. And I'm going to attach it to a piece of florist wire using hot glue. And it seems like it wouldn't really hold, but it holds beautifully and just wait a minute or so and it will be very, very sturdy. And once your little pom-pom is dry, then you can apply quick dry glue to it. And you can either use a paint brush to do this or you can just apply it using the nozzle tip of the, the glue bottle like I'm doing and just saturate it really well. And once the whole thing is pretty well covered, and you have your glitter handy, then just cover that completely with glitter and then just kind of tamp it off. So you get the little pieces that are kind of excessive off of it. And then set that aside for a second and let that dry. So I've covered this pom-pom with gold glitter and it's completely dry and ready to start assembling the rest of the flower. So we're starting with a little stamen piece and I'm using um, the German crepe paper for this and I'm positioning it so that the pom-pom is about halfway down the center of the, the height of that stamen piece and just lay some um, quick dry glue in there and begin rolling. And every now and then come back and add a little bit more glue just to secure that in position. And finally just kind of stretch that crepe paper out and finish that off and kind of spread out the little stems so that you get sort of like an equal uh, distribution of the little stamen pieces around your pom-pom. That looks really cute. And then I like to kind of pinch it in at the bottom because now we're going to be threading the peony petals onto this and uh, just want to make sure that everything fits together. Okay, on the flower example that I showed you earlier, I started with the paler colors and then went to the deeper colors at the bottom of the flower. And you might need to even tear it a tiny bit to get it to just um, fit over the top of your stamens. It just depends on how thick your crepe paper is, how much of it you use, that sort of thing. But don't worry if you have to tear it just a tiny bit or um, you could even punch a larger hole if you need to. And so you just basically thread those on and align them the way that you want them. And I like to put a little dab of glue in between each one of those layers and that really ensures that the petals will stay in position once your flower is all assembled. Okay. I've positioned about 16 layers of tissue paper onto this wire and I've got about four layers of each color. So I've got four different colors going from blue to aqua, really pretty. And then the last thing I want to do is put the calyx piece on, which is this little circular piece, which is part of the die. And I just thread it on the wire and then put it over the crepe paper. And this also just helps ensure that the petals will stay in place. I'm going to put a little hot glue on the bottom of that just to ensure that that base piece, the little calyx piece, stays in position. 
and that is a gorgeous flower and the very last step that I like to do for the flower is to just scrunch the whole thing forward. Don't worry about wrinkling it. You really can't go wrong. And that really helps the petals kind of stand up and be dimensional. And it makes it look a little bit more like a realistic peony. That is really, really pretty. Now I'm going to trim the wire. If I had wanted to put it in a vase or something like that on display, then I would have left the wire on, but I wanted to use this as a, an embellishment for a gift. Now we're ready to do the leaves. And I have die cut the leaves out of the German crepe paper. And there's a little score line down the center. And on that score line, you will place your florist wire and uh, just a thin line of the quick dry glue. And you can uh, keep that in position using a binder clip and just leave it for about five minutes. And then you will get a leaf that can be manipulated, which is a really wonderful thing so that you can see on this gift the way that they stand up really nicely, and that's because of the florist wire. You can also paint crepe paper, which is really fun. You can do polka dots or stripes or other patterns in it. It's really cute. So then I'm going to trim that wire off a little bit and then glue the leaves. And you could do this over the top or underneath the calyx piece depending on how much it matters that it looks nice. And then I'm going to trim the stem off a little bit more because it's a little bit long to use as an embellishment. And there's the finished flower. So simple and so fun. You can get really beautiful results with this die and you can use, uh, because it's a bigs die, you can make fabric flowers or use other kinds of scrapbooking paper, decorative paper, even gift wrap. But I love the tissue paper because it's so lightweight and fun and frilly and girly. I really hope you enjoy using this die and happy crafting.